In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can run the deuce close offense to perfection in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the follow or the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and we upload content every single day. Make sure your notifications are on because our content helps you get better on both sides of the football. Now, real quick before we dive too far in the video, I'm going to be going over the PAX post cross. I'm in the Seattle playbook out of the single back deuce close. But if you've not already joined my text message membership, I really quickly just wanted to highlight that. Uh, basically, that's just a way that we can basically give you guys uh, offensive and defensive guides completely for free. The way you do, the way you get them, is you text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and I'll be releasing full schemes every single weekend for the duration of the Madden 22 season. So text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. This single back deuce close formation is probably the best formation in the game right now, at least one of the best um, because of how good the rollout corners are, how good stretch is, how good halfback wham is, and how good the rolling out of the quarterback is. And this little play right here is one of my favorites uh, that I really like to run. And so basically what I'm going to do with this is really, really, really simple. All you're doing is you're dragging both tight ends and you're blocking your running back. That's it. That's the, all you set up. And what you're going to see is these double drags are really, really, really good. They're so hard to guard, especially, and I want to go to man coverage here first. They're really, really hard to guard in man coverage because these tight ends basically get little speed bursts off the line and as you can see they're wide open against man to man one of your tight ends will always be open on these drags i really want you to try to drive i want to drive that point home if you're running this play you will always have a tight end open on a drag one of these two guys will be open so if nothing else is open please check down to the tight end now i want to show you why this is so good against the blitz so when your opponent sends pressure um, what you're going to see is these drags do such a good job of being pressure release routes. As you can see again, they just drag across the formation, and they're really easy. If your opponent, they basically force your opponent to have to play hard flats. Now, I want to talk about hard flats just real quick. You're going to see that the X receiver oftentimes will beat it. As you can see, the truck still, the air truck is still a thing and still very effective uh, from this. So again, I want to show you just the double drags, and we're just going to send um, seven or send five. I've got a blocked running back to pick up the pressure, but look at these drag routes. You see that right there? It's gonna be a high low between the drag and the crosser. And this is a really special uh, route concept in Madden 22 because it's so freaking hard to stop these drags. Um, they have to play hard flats to stop the drag, but then as you'll see in just a second, this crossing route is actually a lot better than it looks. It gets fairly deep. As you can see right here, Cloud Flat doesn't guard it, and I can easily throw the crosser. Now, if you have Hot Route Master, uh, I will tell you that you know your crosser, you can make the crossing route a lot deeper. And the value of doing that is, as you'll see right here, look at the depth that he gets on that crosser compared to the first one. So if you have Hot Route Master, you have Slot Apprentice, um, to me, that's something that you can certainly justify doing, um, but the crosser he's on is fine. Uh, I just like to do this, okay? Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is a little uh, way that this play is gonna work against that cover three defense. So if they get both of those covered and they go use the crosser, you're gonna have the square receiver over the top for a absolute laser over the top of the cover three for a touchdown. So let me show you how this works again. So again, we're just going to go ahead and we're gonna double drag our tight ends. And then I personally like to just simply block the running back. If you want to, you can take that right side tight end and put him on a delay fade, or I also like a delay drag route. So we could basically roll out, got our play action, leave that on, you got good blocking. But if you watch this square receiver, you're gonna see that square receiver gets over the top of the cover three for a one play score. These compression formations this year are really causing a lot of problems early on in the year for the coverages. And so as you saw right there, we're able to get over the top of the cover three for a one play score. Now the next route that I wanna go over on this, or the next 
uh, coverage that I want to go over on this is the cover two. You're going to see that the cloud flat actually does a really good job if it's a cover two cloud flat of defending this. Most people uh, will not be in cover two against this because if they're in cover two against this, the corner routes that you're going to have from this formation are going to kill cover two over the top. But I do want to show you the square receiver. Um, this is a, basically a deep bomb play, but as you can see right here, he has a step over the top of the cover two and he can actually beat cover two for a one play score. So let me show you that one more time. And just to kind of help the video, help um, you see the routes on the video, I'm just gonna spy the defensive line. But again, we're reading our underneath first, of course, but you're gonna see right here that safety is gonna take a false step and you're gonna at least have an opportunity for an aggressive catch. Most of the time you're gonna have that as an opportunity for a one play score. It's really important that if you want to try to hit that post, that you roll out to the right side. So you're making your initial read, nothing there. So now I'm gonna roll out and that's where we're gonna absolutely obliterate it over the top as long as Evans can make the catch. Now, what about match coverage? Um, I think match coverage is really probably the better, one of the best ways to play right now, at least defensively. Uh, but I wanna show you that this absolutely obliterates match coverage. Your crossing route really does do a good job. You're gonna get really consistent separation uh, from match coverage with this. It's gonna basically just kill match coverage for you. For you, So, you know, the drags are gonna be good against match. And the other thing that's gonna be really good is this post. Um, you're gonna see here that he's actually gonna glitch out match for a one play score. So this play is kind of a shot play out of this formation. It's not like your every down play. It could be, but it's really not meant for that. It's really more of a, um, like I said, a kind of a shot play. Now I want to go over cover four drop. And again, I really like what the compression sets allow for these routes this year. So um, here, the cover four is probably going to be the best defense for this, uh, just because it does take a lot, in my opinion, to glitch out the top safeties from the cover four. So what you're going to see is you got your double drags, obviously high, low, and then your crosser gets wide open as well. So you got your drag, your crosser, one of those two routes will probably be open against your cover four. But I do want to show you that, you know, this is something in my opinion that last year, especially Madden 2021 current gen, this would have been a route combo that we would have used if we were trying to get square over the top of the cover four. In this year's game, it, it can, but you have to really wait on it and you have to pass it all the way to the right, just like that to get it over the top. So it can get over the top of a cover four, but that's not typically the number one read on this play, and it's really not, in my opinion, worth too much of our time to talk about it. But it can get over the top of cover four drop. Cover two man, real quick, uh, you've got all your crossers. So your drags both get open, and then your crosser to the slot receiver on the right gets open really well. The other real beauty of this is you can flip this. So for example, if I was on the right hash mark, I could just flip it, nothing changes, nothing looks any different whatsoever. It's just flipped, right? And so I can do that on both sides. The other thing that I like about cover two man is kind of similar to cover two. Um, you have to make a kind of a crazy throw. Um, so I would recommend something like a dashing dead eye or something like that uh, so that you can get out of the pocket on this. But if you can get out of the pocket on this, this square receiver, if you can get out of here and make a throw, you're going to see that he can actually burn. I mean, it didn't right there, but he can typically... He can actually get over the top of cover two man. So let me show it to you one more time. And just for the sake of the video, I just wanna get Levante David out of the way just so that I can get out of the pocket here. Um, you know, and again, if you're if you're playing an actual game, obviously you're gonna take your check downs and whatever. But I just wanna show that. You see how he gets a step over the top of him. Now, the other thing with cover two man, I have noticed a little bit better than cover two zone. But the concept is really truly the same. Um, because he's a deep, deep, deep post right there. I'm throwing it a little too late, but right there, that's what we're looking for. And there you see him getting over the top of that cover two. So, or that two man under. This also is a really good play um, for the cover zero kind of underneath. So like if they went to something like this, you know, where they're trying to kind of go with a little bit more of like a cover one style of coverage, um, this is also a really good play for that. And the reason why, number one, your crosser 
But number two, watch this square receiver. Once he gets inside of that deep middle, you see he gets over the top for a pretty good gain. Obviously, he's got to make the catch, but he is in the area uh, to make the play. So this play, all in all, is really um, a really fascinating and fun play to run. Please don't sleep on these little drags to the tight end. I think they're one of the best routes that you can have this year. Um, another little pro tip is if you don't like the drags, go ahead and put them on little five yard in routes. I love the five yard in routes this year. I think those are super underrated. You can do really um, a lot with that from this deuce close. But man, this deuce close offense is a lot of fun to run. It's a little bit different, but once you get used to it, you're gonna find a lot of joy, a lot of success with this. There's some different motions we can do, but for right now, I think this is the best way to run it as far as from passing concepts for you. So if you wanna get my full schemes this year in Madden 22, go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Remember, I release a new scheme every single weekend, and we've got one that we're working on right now for this weekend. So if you wanna get that scheme, Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later.